Hello guys, it's me again. I'm back. Yeah, I do look the exact same as in another one of my videos, probably the last one. That is because I wanted to make this video into one part, but then I just like rambled the fuck on and would not shut up for like a good 20 minutes. So I decided to split into two parts. And this part isn't even about more books that I read. No, no, no. This is like books that I want to get to, like getting back into reading kind of thing. I thought that would have been like a cool thing to add in there, but no, I have, I am literally unable to shut the fuck up. So I have to make a new separate video on this, but I mean, I guess that's more content for you guys. So yeah. Moving on. So this is going to be a list of books that I have wanted to read for the longest time or that I have recently discovered and I really, really want to read. Let's just, let's just get into it. You guys know everything by now. Shit lighting, shit everything, shit life, you know? So let's, let's get started. The first book that I actually started reading already and really, really like so far and I'm so bummed that I don't really have the time to read it. Although this might change, I don't know. Uh, is The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. It's so good. It's so fucking good. It's hilarious. It's funny. It's like just my sense of humor. It's, I love it. I really, really like it. I've read about 100 pages of it so far. This is basically, if you don't know, because it is a very famous book. It's sci-fi, obviously, you know, galaxy. Like, do I need to spell it out for you? This just weird random guy who lives on a planet is accidentally friends with an extraterrestrial and some other form of life destroys the fucking earth which get on with it because at this point we're all waiting for this to happen but anyway so this extraterrestrial who is friends with andrew our main character just whisks him off and they travel the galaxy together from what i've understood i love it it's so funny just you know the sense of humor that i really really love it's like it's a dad sense of humor, honestly, but I really like those kinds of things. So haven't even finished the book, but would recommend. Next book is a book that I am currently reading. I'm reading it for an assignment for university. So you guys could possibly get a review for this one. Please Look After Mom by Kyung Suk Shin. I really like it so far. It's really good. Basically, it is a multiple point of view story and it's all about, you know, family members who have lost, in this case, the mom of the girl who opens the book you know kind of opening chapter is the daughter you get so much information and insight on the character of the mother which is why i chose this book basically our assignment is reader post korean war novel with an interesting female character and write a fucking essay about it so i was like oh uh, this one this this one so yeah once i'm done with it i'm gonna write my fucking paper and use it to get a review because fuck, <laughs> might not even get a good mug, so might as well capitalize off it, am I right? Another book that I actually started reading, but that was a while back, um, like last year for uni, Conscience in Action by Kim Dae Jung. It's his autobiography. It is a fucking brick and I can't show it to you because my phone is currently perched on top of it for this video. It is obviously non-fiction, it's a biography and it's crazy that a human being could have done so much and fought so hard for democracy and for his country and I am in awe of some people really like I should stop reading non-fiction books like that because it's just bad for my self-esteem and it's not actually something I was required to read for university but I remembered I missed a fucking question on one of my exams the question was like oh who is blah blah, blah. and the answer was Kim Dae Jong this guy and I just didn't know it so when I looked at the correction I was like oh shit he's pretty important so I went out bought his fucking autobiography and now I'm like slowly making my way through it. Guess you could say that I am not gonna miss any questions related to him again on an exam. <laughs> uh, next book that I would really like to read is another Korean book. I have it right here. Shit, oh, that's not the one. Next book that I wanna read is The Hole. It is a psychological thriller and it is by a Korean author. That's all I know, literally all I know. What I kind of liked was the Times review, a Korean take on misery. All right, dude, that is like a better review that I could ever make ever. Like times, you can have my channel if you want, it's dead. Yeah, no, uh, I am trying to read a lot more Korean books because I am now a Korean studies major. So next book I really want to read is Matt Haig's new book. I don't even know the title, but he's been promoing the fuck out of it on his like Instagram and Twitter or whatever. And Matt Haig is legit my favorite author. I've read a good chunk of his books. Like really, I've read a a lot of them and I've all of them have been five star reads for me. Another book that I really want to read because it is another one of my favorite authors and I feel like I need them in my life to get back into reading. Tender is the Night by F. Scott Fitzgerald. I love Fitzgerald. I really like The Great Gatsby, Beautiful and Damned, 
really fantastic author. He is a classic to be fair, so I really am looking forward to reading this one that I bought like, you know, two years ago and never read. Next book that I want to read is actually going to be a reread and it's actually going to be Young Adult. Yep. Uh, don't get your hopes up. It's not a book I hated. It was one of my favourite books. It was literally the book that got me into booktube and that is Red Rising by Piers Brown. I loved it really so much. It felt kind of like, you know, Red Queen meets Hunger Games meets Game of Thrones, but is actually good. I mean, Game of Thrones is good, but you get what I mean. I'd be very interested to see if I still enjoy it as much. Like, am I going to put my, you know, Piers Brown fangirl bias aside and actually like kind of critically look at this book? You know what? I hope I don't. I hope I blindly enjoy it because that is the only way I'm gonna get through you know, this block that I have of not reading at all for the past two fucking years, man. But yeah, really would like to reread it. And I also have like a signed copy of one of the books. I think I have Golden Sun signed. So it would be a shame if I started hating them. Anyway, next book I'm going to read. I don't necessarily want to read it. I'm not particularly excited about it. China's Economic Engagement in North Korea. Am I overly excited about this? No. Am I absolutely enthusiastic and elated at the thought of sitting down and reading it right away? No. But, I mean, it, it is something that I'm generally interested in and I do have a project about China's economic engagement in North Korea. So I will be using this as sources. Or I could just translate the whole thing into French and hope hope I don't get done for plagiarism. I'm kidding. I'm joking. Wow. Okay. Do your homework, kids. Next book. Oh god, it's under that entire pile. Untold Night and Day by Bei Suhua. And it is just an entire book about what goes on in just like 24 hours from my understanding. And I am just quite intrigued by it because there's only so much you can write about 24 hours. And also it's locked down. So I couldn't write 24 words about my day. Next book. I really, really, really want to get to is Unnatural Causes by Dr. Richard Shepard. I started this book and I really liked it. Do you know what a fucking idiot I am? I bought this book. I paid it fucking 20 euros. I started it and then I forgot it on the fucking plane and my dumb ass went to buy it again and didn't finish it. It is basically a forensic pathologist who talks about the weirdest cases he's seen and I am, you know, me being interested in true crime and a weird new fascination for medicine. I think that could be fun. I mean, I liked the first two chapters, so. Next book I wanna read is The Interpreter by Suki Kim. I feel like I'm a broken record, but she's initially from North Korea and she has written other non-fiction books, but this one is fiction. Um, and it's about a uh, North Korean, I think, integrating into American Western society. And I think it could be very interesting. I think Suki Kim is a very interesting person, full stop. She's done a lot of talks, a lot of conferences. If you are not um, interested enough in North Korea to commit to a whole last book, in which case my channel is fucking useless, by the way, um, I would highly recommend checking her talks out. She seems really interesting, has, a lot to do, you know, bring to the table in terms of conversation about North Korea, obviously. And finally, last but not least, I really want to get some more Murakami, uh, possibly Underground, possibly Norwegian Wood or the Wine Up Bird Chronicles, but just some more Murakami because I fucking adore his work, man. I really do. I think that's it. Oh no, that isn't it. Shit, hang on. The Organ Bank Farm. <laughs> I mean... I don't think this is even on Goodreads. I found it at a secondhand bookshop. And I'm just gonna read the, the back of it to you. The valley of the organ bank farm seemed a happy and idyllic place on the surface until one realized that most of the inhabitants were lunatics whose bodies were being cannibalized bit by bit to provide spare parts for the rulers of this society. What's not to love? I'll read this one first. <laughs> before fucking China's economic engagement in North Korea. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I find the will to not look like a disgusting piece of shit in my next video, but there will be a next video. So I will see you guys soon. Bye.